Kuru, July the 7th, 1991, on top of its Ariane launcher, ERS-1, the first European remote sensing satellite. Its radar technology will give the European Space Agency the means to offer a permanent, all-over vision of our planet, regardless of cloud cover. The advantage of high altitude for understanding our planet and its changes became rapidly obvious. In 2002, ESA launched the largest environmental satellite ever built. MVSAT was able continuously to observe and monitor the Earth's atmosphere, land masses, oceans and ice caps. Such a wealth of data, combined with long periods of observation, has meant that theories such as global warming or ice melting can now be confirmed factually. Observations of the extent of decline in Arctic sea ice made by space-borne radiometers have provided definitive evidence of ongoing change at the poles. And exhaustive analysis of satellite imagery of glaciers worldwide has documented a pattern of systematic retreat. Uninterrupted measurements of the ocean surface made by radar altimeters have detected a global average sea level rise of some three to four millimeters per year. This knowledge prompted the idea of providing a health bulletin of the planet. In parallel, the decision was made to have dedicated satellites which go deeper into every field of observation, alongside an operational system of global monitoring for environment and security. Today, we have 30 years worth of such data. It's the combination of this expertise and the almost daily flow of information that give the best picture of what's going on. Measurements from land, ocean and the atmosphere, together with other independent observations, provide the evidence for climate change, giving an overall picture of a complex, interlinked climate system. Scientists have compiled a list of 50 essential climate variables, key components that need to be measured in order to monitor different aspects of climate change, its magnitude and worldwide impact. They will put objective information at the disposal of policymakers and citizens. This is what ESA wants to achieve with its Climate Change Initiative Programme providing the required resolution and accuracy and merging data sets from different missions and sensors into one continuous series of data. It's vital that we continue to make these measurements into the future. The longer the time period, the greater their value becomes to climate science and the world. Space is undoubtedly one of the best tools we can use to look after the Earth.